Hey guys, this is Jack from FEV Academy in partnership with GetFEV.com. Today we're going to have a closer look at the VAS Microwave Dipole Antenna. Now some of you guys may have considered doing the 5dB mod on your Tyrannus. Now there are some speculation around whether it's worth doing it or not. And to be honest, my personal experience has been that it wasn't the greatest upgrade because I did get a few fail safes after two months of trying it. But with that said though, I do think that it might have been the antenna that I was using. And the reason being is since I've changed it to this antenna, I haven't had a single fail safe. So because of that, I'm kind of changing my mind that it wasn't a bad install or that my internal module isn't starting to maybe give out on me, that it might have just been a faulty antenna or a bad antenna, or maybe even the location that I was flying at had a lot of uh, noise on that specific frequency. So with that said, let's have a closer look at this antenna. Now the folded dipole is the perfect upgrade to your Tyrannus or your Spectrum radio for pilots who need a stronger control signal. The folded design radiates the control signal more efficiently than the stock antenna, especially near the ground. Now it can be used with your 2.4 transmitter and installed vertically or horizontally to match your aircraft polarization. Now with that said though, it may sound quite easy to install, but it is actually quite tricky. So if you aren't familiar with the 5dB mod for your Tyrannus, let me just quickly break it down. Basically, you have to unscrew all the screws on your Tyrannus radio and then open it entirely expose the whole thing and then inside where your stock antenna connects to the board you have to desolder that and solder a new one of these on so that you can screw the antenna onto it so as you can see this is really really small and where you have to solder this on is also quite small so you have to make sure that you have the right soldering skills or even the right soldering iron and just be constantly in your soldering before you even start trying this mod so once you have that open and you solder this onto there you can just um, hot glue or 3D print the mount to be able to have this sticking out the top and then you can just screw your antenna onto the top and then you have it modded. So like I said though, if you are unsure about this, maybe do a little bit more extra research, but if you already have done this and maybe running into problems with your antenna or your quad fail safing, then this antenna is definitely worthy upgrade because like I said, it has fixed my problems with my radio and it would have saved me a lot of headache at the previous race that I was at, which caused me losing the race thanks to a fail safe and the antenna that I had on it. So if you want to save that disappointment, maybe consider upgrading to this specific antenna. If you already have done the 5 dBi mod, then that's definitely the way to go. Now, if you are interested in purchasing this antenna or if you just want to read a little bit more about it, it is available at the getfev.com website. I'll leave a link in the description below if you do want to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.